Hello, this is Kai. Welcome to another video in our Particle Photon for Beginners series. In this lesson, we're going to learn how to subscribe to an event so that if I push a button right here, my photon over there will receive that event and do something based off of that. So let's get started. Meanwhile, back on my computer, I've gone to the particle.io website. Go ahead and click build. And I will also click dashboard. Let's close this first site, put my build over here. And so on this dashboard, what if I go to logs, I can see that if I push my button on my nightmare device, that we have an event published and the event name is called start. Go here. Now let's go ahead and create a new app. And we'll call this one subscription. And I'll push enter to save it. And I just want to really quickly remind you that if you wanted to build locally, you would have to save it with the extension of .ino at the end of it. Now, as always, I'll go ahead and open up my docs and go to reference. We're using these cloud functions right here. And in particular, we're using the subscribe function. So I'll go down here and it gives you examples on how to use these functions. I'm going to go ahead and copy this one right here because we want to subscribe to an event published from a specific device and I'll also go ahead and put that in my setup so I'll indent put it there now let's start changing some stuff we see here the event name is start so I'll go ahead and take out motion front door and instead I'll put start now the next uh, part right here is the motion handler this is the function that we're gonna call once we receive the event uh, we'll handle that in a second and then right here, this is the device ID. My device ID is not this one, so I'm going to have to go to devices. And then this is the device that I'm receiving the event from. I'll go ahead and copy the device ID right here. And again, if that wasn't up, all I would have to do is just click the arrow and it drops down. And I'll paste that right here. Let's see. Paste. And then I'll go back to the reference, and now let's go ahead and just copy the function that they've already written out, this my handler function. And I'll put that in my code. And I'm gonna just take everything out that they wrote, because I don't even I don't even know what it does. And now we see that the function is not called motion handler, but instead it's called my handler. But really this can be called anything, so let's go ahead and call it anything. So I'll type in anything right here, and when I receive this event called start, I'm going to do this function called anything. And what is anything going to do? Well, in this example, we'll go ahead and write out a high voltage to the D7 pin. And if you look on your particle photon, there's a LED built into that pin, so we don't have to attach anything. So I'll go ahead and create a variable, call it LED, and I'll initialize it to pin 7 or I'll uh, map it to D7, excuse me. And then, as always, I'll do pin mode. Calling that variable I just created, LED, and then putting it as an output, because I want to write some voltage to this. And now, when I initially start up my particle photon, I don't want the light to be on. I want it to actually be off, so I'll call that LED again. And then, I'll write a voltage of low, or rather, I'll write low voltage to pin D7. So now, when I receive that event, I'm going to turn the light on, so I'll copy this, and I'll go down to my function, and then I'll paste in, but instead of low, we're going to write it as high because we want the light to turn on, and just like that, if I verify, compile the code, and we see that it works, I'll go to devices, and make sure that the device that you want to flash is starred. We're not doing Nightmare because that's the button. So I'm going to do XJ9 because this is receiving that event. And I'm going to go ahead and flash my device. Now if I go here and I click this button, we'll see that... I'm going to do it one more time. My device didn't flash. So we'll see that when I click the button, we receive this event. My device is receiving this event called start, and when it receives this event called start, 
it's going to do this function called anything. And what does anything do? Well, anything turns my D7 LED on, and if I look at my physical device, it's in fact turned on. So I'm going to quickly illustrate what this is going to look like in real life. If we can see the computer right here, we see that we in fact have my devices that are online right now. So I'll go ahead and now push this button. And once I do it, that little D7 LED on this device is going to go ahead and turn on. So I'll push the button. And there we see that the LED has in fact turned on. Congratulations, guys. Be sure to like, subscribe, and leave me feedback.